Shanty blog four. This one's going to be about a uh, sea shanty called Poor Old Horse. For those of you that haven't been on this channel uh, before, welcome. It's great to have you aboard. Those that are, hopefully by now, you're actually starting to sing some shanties. Good, good, good. That's it. I'm Brian of Holcomb. That's Holcomb Rock. I love shanties. I do, actually. I love them to pieces. A poor old man went riding by, and we say so, and we hope so. Says I, old man, your horse will die, oh poor old horse. So this one's poor old horse. It's got nothing to do with a horse, really. It's to do with the sailors. Uh, before they went on shore, they'd have to wait for the trip, and they'd spend all their money, they'd even pawn their clothes uh, in order to get on board, and they would have a sub off the captain for a month's wages. One month a rotten life we've led, and we say so, and we hope so, while you's laid in your feather bed, oh poor old horse. So uh, here I'm, I'm by the seaside, that's the uh, seaside. I've got the rhythm of the sea coming in. There's always a rhythm, and there's a big splash. And the big splash to me always reminds me of, give him in and pull that, go oh, on, pull those ropes, pull that on, pull him in there. And that's what I try to put into my songs when I'm singing. But now your time is up, old Turk, and we say so, and we hope so. Get up your swine and look for work, oh poor old horse. And what they did towards the end of that month they would celebrate at the end of the month the fact that that was over and then they were going to get paid for the work that they did. For 30 days you've ridden him and we say so and we hope so but now he's dead we'll tan his skin oh poor old horse. And they'd make a horse a dummy of a horse out of old sails, ropes, hessian, whatever they could get their hands on. So they'd make this horse, and the horse would represent basically, I think really, it would be representing the old man, or the old Turk, as they used to call him. We'll yank him up to the cabin door, and we say so, and we know so, and he'll no worry us nay more, oh poor old horse. But hoist it up to the ship, up to the masts, swing it about a bit, all cheer, then drop it into the sea so the sharks could eat it. Uh, or well, they wouldn't eat it, but so they could eat the captain in their in their minds. That's what they wanted. Up off this horse must go, and we say so, and we hope so. We'll hang him high and drop him low. Oh, poor old horse. We'll drop him down with a long, long roll, and we say so, and we hope so, where the sharks will have his body and the devil have his soul. Oh, poor old horse. I thought I heard the old man say, and we say so, and we hope so, just one more pull and then be lay. Oh, poor old horse. Welcome back, shipsters. It's good to have you back on board. I've been missing you, I really have. Today's session, I thought we'd talk about the old man. Well, that's the word for the captain. Sometimes they called him the old Turk. Didn't mean he came from Turkey, just meant he didn't come from England. Also, uh, sometimes you've got the mates giving the orders, uh, the skipper. And a poor old man went riding by, and we say so, and we hope so. Says I, old man, yeah, horse will die. Oh, poor old horse. Starts off like that. Let's have a look into this shanty. The sailors had been ashore for quite a while, waiting for the ship to get ready, waiting for the tides to be right, waiting for the cargo to be ordered and set up or loaded. And in, during that time, they'd be boarding down, they'd be drinking, they'd be playing around, and they'd spend quite a lot of money. In fact, they'd spend more money than they had. So what they used to have to do was sell most of their clothes, that's where you get the pawning of my clothes. They go down to the pawn shop, maybe they can get them back uh, when they return. 
and also they end up building up a score. That's where the captain of the ship lends the crew money to pay off all the bills that they owe before they go onto the ship. And that went up to about a month's salary for them. They had a song to celebrate that after that, every day they'd be earning money. So we all know a month, that's 30 days, 30 days without pay, not so good. One month a rotten life we've led, and we say so, and we hope so, while you've laid in your feather bed, oh poor old horse. So it really was a rotten life for them on ship, they're working day and night, it's not so you have uh, peace and quiet and get a night's sleep in. You've got to be on watch all the time. Somebody has. Somebody's got to be changing those sails, turning that rudder, keep holding on to the wheel. There's a lot going on. So it's a rotten life. But food was rubbish, hardly any water. They were treated awfully. So that's where the rotten life comes in. We'll give the captain a good slagging during the songs. Hopefully he won't hear. So, where does the old horse come in? What am I talking about? A horse. For we say so, and we hope so. Poor old horse. Well, what the sailors did is they made a horse out of sails and ropes and old rags, anything they could get their hands on that really didn't have any use for recycling for themselves, and they made a horse. For 30 days you've ridden him, and we say so, and we hope so, but now he's dead, we'll tan his skin. Oh, poor old horse. Right about this time, he starts slagging the captain off. But now your time is up, old Turk, and we say so, and we hope so. Get up, your swine, and look for work, oh poor old horse. Oh, we'll yank him up to the cabin door, and we say so, and we hope so, and he'll no worry us nay more, oh poor old horse. So they've made this bundle of rags and hessian and sheets and ropes and whatever and uh, it kind of semi resembles the shape of a horse and what they'll do is they'll nail it above the cabin door for everyone to see. Good starting point. I sing uh, and he'll be no worrying us no more but the real words are hazing which meant dissing which means hustling, giving people a bit of a bad time. So what they were saying was this horse now is finished, it ain't going to trouble us anymore. Oh, up aloft this horse must go, and we say so, and we hope so. We'll hang him high and drop him low, oh poor old horse. So what they'd do, they'd all come onto deck, obviously they'd be having a few drinks and that, and then they'd be hoisting and hauling this horse up to the top mast, right to the very top of the ship and that, so everyone could see him. Probably the best part of this song is We'll drop him down with a long, long roll And we say so, and we hope so Where the sharks will have his body And the devil have his soul Oh, poor old horse so Often quite a bit of talk about feeding the captain to the sharks That was sure why Well, pretty grim way to go that is Being totally ripped to pieces with big sharp razor type teeth And <laughs> all that kind of stuff And then uh, the devil's going to have his soul, the soul of the captain. The devil will have that. 